a very good shot. Good advance down the pitch from Bosch. Sorry, from Brits. And that's a very, very good option. This is exactly what she needs to do. She's coming at number three. She's replaced Sinalise in this game, who's had a poor series, only averaging eight across all three formats. She comes in knowing that Laura Vulvart is coming in next, who is in fantastic form. So she needs to get her wriggle on and do it quickly, and that's exactly what she's done. Yeah, and that's gone. That's it's beaten Sarah Glenn. She can't quite catch up with the ball there and thick outside edge from Brits. She gets another boundary. Very good shot. Slightly advances, full of delivery. It's another very good shot from Brits. Right off the toe of the bat. But I think the important thing here for Tasman Bridge is she didn't try and create something once she found that she had that low full toss. I've been impressed by her, you know, considering she's not played any cricket. She's come out here, she's hit straight. And she's gone for the ball. And Freya Camp, oh, just dropped short trickles to the boundary. Well, it was just short only because of the enthusiasm and athleticism of Freya Kemp as well. I think a lot of people would have sat there and gone, first and foremost, where is it? Secondly, should I sit back or should I have a crack? Well, she had a crack and it was absolutely brilliant. Put her body on the line, off the ground very, very quickly, off the mark, eyes on the ball all the way and just through the hands. So did absolutely everything right, bar get the hands closer together. But great signs again. Is that trouble? No, it's not. Four runs. It was in the air for a while. And there were thoughts that this could be the second wicket. Fritz generally plays the shot pretty well. She's uh, good with in terms of just getting the nice elbow nice and high. Follows through with the shot. That's in the air. And just dropped short and it races to the boundary. Welcome four for South Africa. Sophia Dunkley just chose to go for the catch. And I, honestly, I don't mind it. I know she's given away the boundary in the end. She tried as much as possible to get her body behind it to stop the boundary. But actually, I like the fact that they're rather going for the catch than anything else. And that just shows you the mindset of England, the brand of cricket they're trying to play. It's going back to the Under-19 World Cup, look. Spritz brings her 50 up. Play brilliantly. Four 50, just 24 international T20s. And there's looked head and shoulders above the rest so far this evening. Across her crease and a little fumble. That's from Sarah Glenn. She gets enough on it, which means it doesn't go to the boundary line. And so the first question I'll come back to you with Dominic Cork is if you've got all those little points within the game that you want to keep up with, it's going to be your senior players to get you there. Goes again out of the back of the hand, running around, running around and taken. Eccleston with the catch, Kemp with her second. Where is it? Where is it? There, it's in your hands, you've got it. Took it really comfortably as well. And another wicket. For Freya Kemp. Comfortable. So easy for Sophie Eccleston. And another wicket for England in control of this game once again. 
end of uh, a good innings from Tasmin Brits. She goes to 59. South Africa, 111 for five.